Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Nex SX100R helmet. This is a new sporty looking helmet from Nex that costs between £179.99 and £219.99 depending on the design. The base price of £179.99 is for plain colours, it's £189.99 for simple designs like this shortcut paint scheme and then the £219.99 price covers some of the more intricate designs available on this helmet. The SX100R is based largely on the existing SX100 but with some upgrades to suit sportier riding. That base SX100 is a decent helmet that I wore for a good few hundred miles to review it back in 2018, and the add-ons for the SX100R certainly haven't made it any worse. It has a plastic shell, and it weighs in on our scales at 1660 grams for this size medium version. That's a bit weighty for a sports helmet, but the plastic shell means it will be heavier than lids with a composite fiber shell, but those composite fiber shell helmets almost always cost considerably more money than this helmet. The venting on the SX100R comes from a sliding chin intake here and then there's a switched intake on top of the shell, just here. This reveals an inlet that brings air down into the lid through channels in the impact liner and then it's able to travel out through holes at the base of the aero spoiler. This spoiler is the main visual difference between the SX100R and the SX100, the helmet on which this is based. The other difference is in the lining, which I'll get to in a minute. The SX100R's visor is quick release and it's dead easy to fit. I took the visor for this helmet off and put it back on again in less than 20 seconds and that was with only one practice run to work out how to do it. So I'm sure if you owned one of these helmets very quickly you'd be able to change this in no time at all. The visor has a Pinlock 70 insert to protect it against mist and it's a max vision version so it won't do anything to impede your vision like some of the smaller pin locks you get on many cheap helmets will possibly do. It's supported by an internal sun visor that operates on this switch on the top left of the shell. Sadly that internal sun visor isn't protected against mist, there's no anti-fog coating so on those cold sunny mornings you're unlikely to be able to see just how clear your lovely pin lock protected outer visor actually is. Switch into the interior. As I said earlier, this is one of the key differences between the SX100 and this SX100R. It's a racier two-tone liner. You get this white contrast material throughout, and it's also better able to manage moisture for riders who are working a bit harder on a sports bike and are getting a sweat on. It's also good to see this helmet comes with a chin curtain as standard. My main criticism of the SX100, the base helmet, when I reviewed that back in 2018, was that I experienced quite a lot of air flowing in past the chin bar when I was riding a naked bike in particular, it would get that air into my eyes and dust and grit would get in there and my eyes would start to water. Back then this chin curtain was optional, it cost another 15 quid to fix the problem, but it did fix the problem. Now that's not really an issue as you get one of these as standard, which is really good to see. Behind the cheek pads as part of the liner, there are also recesses for speakers. There are foam inserts in there as standard, so you just pluck those out, put the speakers in, and they'll go in and it'll give you plenty of room to ride in comfort with those speakers there. If you don't want to ride with comms, just leave those foam inserts in place and they will kill a little bit of road noise. This helmet is prepared for Nex's XCOM Bluetooth system. There's a cover on the side of the shell here where the control unit can clip and then there's a cavity at the back between the impact liner and the shell where you can stow a battery. I think using the standard Nex intercom would be the best route to go for with this lid as the rim of the shell around the base here is quite thick and it would make it difficult to clamp a universal intercom on. If you do want to go for a universal intercom then I think it would probably be best to use the self-adhesive pad to attach the unit to the shell. The strap fastener on the SX100R is the same as the normal helmet is based on. It's a micrometric buckle fastener. It's quick, it's simple, but it might disappoint some people who want the D-rings that are usually associated with a sporty helmet. Approvals wise, this helmet is ECE 2205 approved for the road, but it's not ACU gold, so track days and racing with this helmet are out. This helmet is too new for the sharp impact testing scheme that we have here in the UK, but the SX100, and it's pretty much the same helmet as this, scored three stars when that was tested. The SX100 has been really popular with customers who praise its value, but noise does seem to be a bit of an issue for some. I'd say this isn't the quietest of helmets in my experience and a decent pair of earplugs are definitely recommended for use with this helmet. 
The main competition for this helmet comes from Nolan's N87, and I'd say that helmet is a bit better than the SX100R, although necks aren't going to appreciate me saying that. But if you prefer the sportier look of this helmet, or the N87 doesn't actually suit your head shape, then this SX100R is a decent alternative to that helmet. I hope that tells you all there is to know about the NEX SX100R helmet, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.